of the cell have been on edge for days. The cell has always been a vibrant place to work and live. But that is all in jeopardy now due to a threatened walkout by the Transport Trophy Workers Union, TPWU, which has been unable to secure a satisfactory contract from the Cellular Membrane Transport Authority, or commonly known as the CENTA. CENTA oversees all business at the plasma membrane which forms the outer border of the cell. The plasma membrane incessantly bustles with the activity of molecule entering and leaving the cell. This <coughs> activity is critical and it is not known how severely a strike by the TPWU will affect life at the cell. Many molecules are tuned into their local TV news stations desperate to hear the latest when the following breaking news report interrupts the regularly scheduled program. Good morning! This is Phil Lippett in the newsroom at Channel 2 Organic News with a live special report. The Transport Protein Workers Union, or TPWU, has just held a press conference where they announced that they will strike as of midnight tonight. Negotiations between TPWU and Semta have broken down and no news talk is scheduled at this time. Chloe Esterall is standing by at the plasma membrane. Chloe, what's the latest? Good morning, Phil. Talks with CPWU have indeed broken down as at 10 a.m. this morning. Those talks were reportedly marked at times by heated and occasionally emotional exchanges from both sides. The TPWU has announced that they will strike beginning at midnight. What that means is that all transport through any type of transport proteins, whether by diffusion, facilitated diffusion, or active transport, will be shut down at midnight. <coughs> Okay, boss yoga fix, that's all of us together. Ready? One, two, three, up, oh, one, two, one. It's not a line. Yeah, we, no, are, there we are, are bus benefits. No, oh, you're still ready. talking. You're still you're talking. talking. Oh, sorry. What? You're still talking. No, we are all the you do. Yeah, well, you should be in it. You should be in it. You should be in it. Sorry. <laughs> The phospholipids who are represented by a different union will remain on the job. As a matter of fact, the phospholipids are directly behind me. You can probably hear them now. As you know, when the phospholipids are at work, they are con constantly chattering and chanting. Which is very appropriate for this class. Ready? One, two, three. We, we are phospholipids. We are part of the plasma membrane. We let some things pass through, but other things cannot. Some things can pass. Other things cannot. Some things can pass. Other things cannot. Some things can pass. Other things cannot. The phospholipid chants, of course, have to do with their selectively permeable capabilities. And as I've already stated, the phospholipids are expected to remain on the job in the event of a strike by TPWU. Now the TPWU is asking for better working conditions. They say work, work long hours without a break. They say they have difficult jobs shuttling important molecules across the plasma membrane. And quite frankly, they feel they are not adequately rewarded for their efforts. Some transport proteins have claimed that the phospholipids receive all the attention and enjoy much better benefits due to their sheet numbers. Earlier, I caught up with polypeptide, president of the TPWU, and this is what she had to say. Do you realize the dramatic effect a strike on the plasma membrane would have on the cell? We do. But given the extreme pressure we are under, we feel this action is warranted. Our transport proteins work hard, day and night, night and day. We are reliable. We are always there taking care of business. We deserve better working conditions and a lot more respect for our dedication and our vital role in membrane transport operations. Phil, this morning I also spoke with some of the molecules that would be affected by the strike. Here's what they had to say. What is your name? Thank you are. 
and are you? I am Austin, and I also enter in Lisa Sales by Diffusion. I can pass directly through the liquid bottle layer just like my friend CO2. We can pass it any time! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> My name is Blue Coast. I enter in Lee by the South by Facilitation Fusion, so I must have a transport protein to cross the plasma membrane. You know my transport protein recognizes me only and no one else. It's like I have my own personal entrance. All Blue Coast molecules do. And you? I'm an amino acid and I get across by facilitated diffusion. My transport protein knows me and lets me through like that. No one else uses my transport protein. I am needed in there. The strike will be a real hardship. Phil, obviously the strike by TPWU will be very disruptive to cellular activities. That can only be avoided with the return to the bargaining table. And at this time, no meetings are scheduled. This is Chloe Esterall reporting live from Channel 2 Organic News. Back to you, Phil. Thank you, Chloe. <laughs> now to get an objective viewpoint on the consequences of the strike, we have with us, by live feed, Professor Sidesall of Southern University. <laughs> 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 Professor Sidesall, welcome. Or, Professor Sidesall. We appreciate you taking the time to speak with us today. Thank you, Phil. I'm glad to be here today. Now, Professor Tassall. I don't like the name. <laughs> <laughs> Call me <laughs> Professor T. Yeah, T. T. Can you explain to our viewers exactly what impact the strike by the TPWU will have on the cell and its operation? Well, you see, we know the strike will have a direct impact on several major functions within the plasma brain brain. These functions include diffusion, facilitated diffusion, and active transport. And how will diffusion be affected? I thought diffusion involved the phospholipids only, which were not part of the strike. First of all, diffusion is the passive movement of molecules from an area of high concentration to an area of low concentration. While it is true that diffusion can occur directly through the lipid region of the bilayer, some, but not all, crop substances cross the way. Most ions, for example, require a type of transmembrane protein called a pore or channel. They can't move directly through the fossil liquid. Water, of course, <laughs> is very important. Small amounts of water can pass directly through the fossil liquids, <laughs> which shift about due to the fluidic nature of the bilayer. Water also passes through aquaporins, special water channels that are transmembrane proteins. In fact, this is the main route for water entering and exiting the cell. Aquaporins and criti are critical for osmosis to occur. You mentioned osmosis. What, what is osmosis exactly? Osmosis. Oh, I love osmosis. <laughs> osmosis is the passive movement of water to the plasma membrane. It occurs to keep a constant balance of water in the cell relative to its environment. You mean water will move into and out of the cell depending on external conditions? Yes! <laughs> if the cell is in hypertonic, and this is the second syllable, I did not read that. <laughs> Well, 
If the strike does proceed, the silicate diffusion would be another lost service. Now, what exactly? What processes do facilitated diffusion have? Facilitated diffusion is the path of movement of molecules across the plasma membrane that is aided by transport proteins. Without facilitated diffusion, large and important molecules like glucose and the amino acids can't get into the cell. Now, that would be very bad for obvious reasons. Professor, everything you've discussed so far has been described as a passive movement. Why do you call them passive? Because they don't require energy. Diffusion, facilitated diffusion, and osmosis are all passive because the cell does not use energy to, to drive the process. Active transport, however, does require the cell to expand energy, usually in the form of ATP. Energy is needed whenever a substance must move uphill against the concentration gradient. That is to say, from an area of low concentration to an area of high. And does active transport require the use of transport proteins? Yes, yes it does. So this is yet another function that would be lost during the strain. Now, Professor, what kinds of molecules cross the plasma membrane by active transport? The sodium potassium pump, for one, is a transport protein that needs ATP to run. That's the type of active transport that moves sodium and potassium ions across the plasma membrane. Regulation of sodium potassium concentration is critical to the survival of the cell. Well, this has been very enlightening. It seems that the cell could be in a great deal of trouble if the transport protein workers are on strike. Thank you for your time, Professor Pupil. You're welcome, Phil. I'm glad I can help. Yeah, thanks. Glad to have you here. We now return to report with Chloe Estra live at the plasma membrane with an important update. Phil, just moments ago, the TPWU and SEMTA announced they will return to the bargaining table at 3 p.m. There is hope that they will be able to reach an agreement and avert the proposed strike that could have a devastating outcome for the cell and its molecules. Some things can pass, other things cannot. Some things can pass, other things cannot. I might like hear that again, that's a little sad. Some other things can pass, other things cannot. Some things can pass, other things cannot. <laughs> As you know, the situation here at the plasma membrane is very tense. Many molecules can get stranded on either side of the plasma membrane if there is a strike. Molecules are worried about how they will get into and out of the cell if the transport proteins are not operating. Some things can pass, other things cannot. Some things can pass, other things cannot. Here is a molecule on the way into the cell now. You look concerned. How will you handle the strike? Being an oxygen molecule, I can cross the plasma membrane. The problem is what kind of chaos will I find once I get inside the cell? I mean, cellular respiration requires both myself and glucose. If glucose can't get in, how can I do my job? Phil, a lot is, rest is resting on the continuation of talks between TPWU and SEMTA. This is Chloe Esterol, Channel 2, Organic News. Well, thank you, Chloe. With us now is Mr. Gene Nose, spokesperson <laughs> for the cell. Thank you for joining us today. Please call me Jean. Okay, <laughs> Jean it is. Jean, what is the cell doing to avert its strike? Phil, the cell is actually aware of the magnitude of the situation. We have been present during talks with the TPWU and will again return to the table as the talk resumes shortly. Specifically, what must happen for the TPWU and SEMTA to reach a compromise and avert the strike? between the cell and SEMTA to ensure that transport proteins receive the attention 
and recognition they deserve in all biology textbooks. <laughs> so in effect, biology students everywhere will learn about the vital roles of transport proteins in the plasma membrane and their importance to the operations in the cell. This is Chloe Esterall reporting live on the edge of the plasma membrane, Channel 2 Organic News. Thank <laughs> you.